How do you get Easterlingers? Hope you're having a good day. Are you ready to paint another gunslinger from Zombicide Undead or Alive? Well, I am, and he's primed in Desert Yellow. This is Pablito. We're starting off with a little bit of elven flesh now for his skin. Um, it's pretty much just his face and I believe his, uh, his hands as well. I thought at first he was wearing gloves, but then I'm like, no, he's not. Uh, so uh, face and the hands with this elven flesh from the army painter uh, it's like a yellowish tan color almost uh, but uh, great for skin by the way so and it's a good base for what's coming up later uh, a little bit of speed paint now some sand golem on the pants as well as his uh, hat uh, I think it's a sombrero I think is, is what it's called um, but I find it gives us a perfect almost like a weathered leather look with the speed paint on top of this desert yellow it does a great job i find uh anyways tentacle red is next for his coat he has this cool pinkish looking coat wearing and i found tentacle red is the tentacle or pink color i used to go to all the time this is from the zombie side invader paint set it is a unique color uh, in, if you want to look up colors, they have their color chart online on the Army Painter and you can take a look at um, other paint sets that they've come up with. They have like Kings of War, they had Rising Sun and all that. But I found that the Zombie Side Green Horde, uh, the Invader paint set and the D&D stuff has a lot of the unique colors. Uh, so stuff you can't get in their war paints. And like I've mentioned before, I hope they do come out with them single bottles because you can't get these colors once they're done and it's hard to find even those box sets in Canada especially. Grim Black, now we're going back to a speed paint on top of this uh, desert yellow and you can see with the Grim Black, the desert yellow comes out as a beautiful highlight almost giving it a leathery look to it. And especially with the bullets on those, uh, the gun belts or the bullet belts or I don't know what they're called, I find the bullets actually have their own highlight that you don't even need to highlight after. It almost looks like you can see the bullets there. Some Banshee Brown now for his shirt. Uh, this is a war paint from Army Painter. And the next color is Mars Red. We're doing his satchel there around his waist. And also the little, uh, it looks, I don't know if these were dynamite in his pouch or what, but anyways, and we're also doing these little uh, tassels around his legs with that Mars Red. Uh, we're painting this entire miniature with uh, Army Painter products, except for at the end, I kind of went towards Citadel for one shade, and you'll see why. Moving on now to Matt Black for his hair. Uh, now in the artwork, he's actually wearing his hat, so it's kind of funny that they didn't make him wear the hat in the miniature. I don't know if it was like a, uh, anyways. And I'm trying to do the eyebrows and his big, huge mustache around a cigar he's got in his mouth. I make a mess out of it, but I clean it up. Some gun metal, of course, now for the guns that he's holding. You know, he's got two nice pistols there going on, so I put the gun metal on that. And then we're going to finish off this miniature. Like I said, I'm sorry, I had to go to Citadel for this because that's uh, it's null and oil. Putting it on the entirety of the miniature, except for where I put the speed paints. I do hit some of the spots with the speed paints, but they don't reactivate, which is great because uh, I let them dry long enough. I do the boots, keeping that desert yellow on the boots, uh, giving it a nice uh, different color boot scheme or color scheme. Anyways, there you have it, folks. Pablito, the gunslinger, is ready to shoot up some Wild West zombies. I want to thank you guys for watching. Keep your eye out for more Zombie Side Undead or Alive, and we'll catch you all in the next one.